Christina Parisi for Power Auto Media here at the SEMA Show. I'm in the Covercraft booth with Gary Coins of Colorado Auto Parts. Okay, has to be the coolest build I have ever seen in my entire life. Thank you very much. The first thing I have to say is I see a crazy motor sticking out of there. Yes, that's a seven-cylinder Jacobs. It's out of a 195 seaplane, a little Cessna, early 50s. People don't think it runs and drives, but it runs and drives. Um, you can watch the Jay Leno show. I've done it twice now, driving with Jay. It's called the Plymouth Radial Car. Is there a reason? Well, it's short for part, and that's part of our business. We sell automotive parts, wreck parts, uh, 40 acres in Inglewood, Colorado. Did you do most of the work on this build yourself? How big of a crew did you have? Um, it was just me and my sons and about five or six friends that would come by on Wednesday nights after work. Instead of playing poker, we built a really cool hot rod. I get some crazy detail in there, and I know I asked you, it has a Turbo 400 in it, doesn't it? It's got a Turbo 400. Um, instead of a propeller, I go through a blower belt that goes down to a V drive out of a boat that I had in my wrecking yard, and then the power is transferred back through a drive shaft into a 400 turbo. Now over on the other side, there's the tug. So that little tug weighs 3,000 pounds, and that's what I use to haul the truck into shows when we're doing an indoor show because I can't, they won't let me drive it. I don't know why. Everybody else got to drive their stuff in, but we had to tug ours in. Hmm, might have had something to do with that airplane motor in there. It, it does. It does smoke a lot and throw a lot of oil, and I, I've actually gotten in trouble at a couple of shows because I've got oil on other people's cars and they've got pretty upset about that. But it's really cool because that tug weighs 3,000 pounds and the airplane truck weighs 3,200. So this truck weighs 200 pounds more and that tug, I could pull a semi with that tug. It's got so much power and so much torque and it's just a little four cylinder flathead in it. Now I know Covercraft has been really helpful to you and I, it's a great story behind that. So I, I wanted to get a cover because I do a lot of outdoor shows. And I called a couple different companies and that asked me the same question, have you done any modifications to the hood? And I'm like, well, yeah, I've got an airplane engine coming out of it. Well, we can't help you. You got a hold of Mark. And he says, Gary, I've seen you on Hot Rod Magazine. I've seen you on Jay Leno. I would love to make you a cover. And he's made me three or four covers that fit like a glove. And last night, they made a cover and you could see the rivets popping out of it and that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I think I'm gonna leave the cover on all the time at home when it's sitting in the garage. I have to tell you the rivet work, the, the work on this truck is just amazing. I know I saw some Zeus fasteners welded into the door, a lot of cool stuff on there. Yes, a lot of, lot of rivets and no I haven't counted them yet. I'm gonna see if I can get Jeff over here to count them for me. And then a lot of them you'll see a smiley face on um, they call that a bad rivet. I call it a happy rivet. Never met a rivet you didn't like? Yeah, yeah exactly. But I, I fucked them all myself. On a little side note, I was a professional figure skater. I heard you have two Zambonis. I want to know what's going on with that. <laughs> so, me and the wife and the boys love going to Bonneville Speed Week. And I built the van for Bonneville and I built the truck for Bonneville. Well, this year I'm doing a Zamboni, and I'm gonna rat rod it. And the big thing in Bonneville is save the salt. That's their motto. So on the side of the Zamboni, I'm gonna put a big margarita glass, and it's gonna say save the salt for the rim. And I'm gonna have a little tap on the side where you can tap fresh margaritas and play Jimmy Buffett music all day. Let everyone know how they can get in touch with Colorado Auto Parts. Um, just coloradoautoandparts.com or you can Google the Plymouth Radial Truck and it'll bring you right to our website. How about social media? We have a lot of viewers that love going on social media to find companies. Yeah, you can look under Plymouth Air Radial Truck on Instagram and we're on Facebook. I want in on the Zamboni build. I am Dina Parisi here with Power Auto Media at the SEMA Show.